Today, we're making brown butter pecan pound cake. This stuff is full of the warm flavors of toasted pecans and brown butter, and we're making it in a loaf pan, so you can call it bread and eat it for breakfast. Whether it's breakfast, dessert, or afternoon tea, this stuff really hits the spot. So let's get baking. We have just a couple of ingredients to prep before we mix together our cake batter. First off is the butter for our brown butter. So I've got a stick of butter in a saucepan. I'm going to turn the heat on to medium and melt that butter. And then once it's melted, we're going to keep cooking and stirring until it's browned. And so we'll check in with that as it's um, getting to the, that browned butter stage. And meanwhile, the other ingredient uh, is our pecans. So I have two cups of pecan halves spread out on a baking sheet here and my oven set to 325 degrees. I'm gonna put these in the oven for 10 minutes or so and then i'll check them they'll probably take about 12 minutes altogether um, and we're just toasting these to bring out the flavors and then we'll be uh, cool, letting them cool and chopping them it is totally fine to uh, just get chopped pecans um, from the grocery store or um, already toasted or not all right toasting them right before you bake brings out some an extra level of flavor but it's not that big a deal all right so do what makes making this bread doable, if that makes sense. And um, I just would say, don't toast uh, chopped pecans, like small bits of pecan, because they're much uh, more likely to burn and that would be a real shame. All right, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven while that butter melts and we'll check in with both in a few. Our butter has been on the stove for about five minutes. And although it's still a, a bit frothy at the top, you can see that there are browned bits at the bottom. And the trick with brown butter is knowing just when to stop. Um, I usually like my butter fairly brown, but it can go from lovely and toasty to burnt really quickly. So as soon as you start seeing those brown bits at the bottom, even if it is still a bit foamy at the top. Um, watch it very carefully and be ready to take it off the heat. So we're going to pour that butter into a container here and we're gonna let it cool. So let me get that off the heat real quick. There we go. We do want those little burned bits, or not burned, um, browned bits. We shouldn't have any burned bits, hopefully. Um, but we do want our brown bits in here. Um, so I've got my browned bits of butter. You can kind of see the bottom, how dark it is under that bit of foam. And I'm going to go ahead and let this sit on the counter for a few minutes until it's not hot, hot, and then put it in the refrigerator because we're going to use this like we'd use regular softened butter in a cake batter where we cream it together with the sugar. So we want this to re-solidify, but to be a fairly soft, solid butter, if that um, sounds reasonable. And so this will sit on the counter for a few minutes and then pop into the fridge. Meanwhile, we'll give our our pecans a quick check and um, and see how they're doing. So they're browning just a little bit maybe, but not uh, getting too dark. Um, they have had now altogether, oh, about six minutes or so, eight minutes in the oven, something like that. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes in the oven and then we'll take those out and let them cool before we chop them into small uh, bits uh, with the largest being no bigger than maybe a quarter of an inch. All right. So we'll see those when they're cooled and chopped. And meanwhile, I'll, I'll start assembling the ingredients we need for our cake batter. Our brown butter has cooled to a soft solid and our toasted nuts are chopped. You can see um, pretty finely, uh, largest pieces again are about a quarter of an inch at most. So we're ready to pull everything together. 
First up, we're going to uh, toss together a streusel, um, which will go in the middle of our bread, not on the top. So it would be kind of a nice surprise as we slice into it. Uh, to make that, I've got a third of a cup of brown sugar, light brown, dark brown, either way works. We are going to add to that half a tablespoon or one and a half teaspoons of flour and about half of our chopped nuts. We don't need to be super precise about this, just kind of eyeball it, that'll work. Mm, that looks just about right. We'll set the rest of these aside. And we'll just give this a quick little stir. And then we'll work in two tablespoons of butter. If you remember to get that butter out and soften it, great. If not, that's fine. Um, use a pastry blender if you need to, to just kind of work that in. I've got a fork here that should do the job just fine. You can even use your hands, all right? Um, but we're just gonna work this in till we have kind of some coarse crumbs that are sticking together. All right, I abandoned the fork um, and worked with my hands and this is about the texture um, somewhere between, no, uh, I don't know, um, wet sand and really fine gravel or something. All right, so I'm gonna clean up the hands and we'll set that aside Whoop. and measure out our dry ingredients. So for this, we will use two cups of all-purpose flour works out to 250 grams. There we go. Half a teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt, but whatever you have, just if you're using table salt, maybe use a little bit less one teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to whisk that together uh, for about 30 seconds just to evenly distribute those leaveners. So we'll do that, set it aside, and um, then we'll go back to our brown butter and our sugar. Next, we'll mix together our brown butter and a cup of brown sugar. I've already measured the brown sugar into our mixing bowl. You can use a um, stand mixer or a hand mixer to do this. And we're just gonna kind of get this out of the corners here. By the way, the brown butter, you could make this well ahead if you wanted to. And then just get it out of the refrigerator as you would um, any butter that you're you're softening to room temperature. So definitely an option if you don't wanna tack that, um, that time on to the beginning of your cake making, or you just wanna get a jump on this. All right, so we are going to mix this for a couple of minutes on medium or medium high um, until it gets light and fluffy, depending on the texture of your butter, especially if it's still a little hard in bit places um, from the refrigerator, or it was maybe a still a little sludgy, it didn't quite um, get to solid. Um, it might not get as light and fluffy as um, your usual butter sugar combination. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. All right, here we go. So my brown butter and um, brown sugar mixed together, definitely not quite light and fluffy, but not bad. To this, we're going to add two eggs, one at a time, mixing um, and then scraping down after each one. And here's how our batter looks after the eggs were added in, nice and light and fluffy. Next, we will add our dry mixture that's our flour and salt and leaveners, along with a cup 
of sour cream and we'll be adding that alternately so about a third or a half of each at a time mixing um, just as much as we need to get that more or less incorporated and then adding the next bit and then scraping down at the end. And here is our batter after the flour mixture and the sour cream have been added. We will take the rest of our nuts and just gently um, either mix with the mixer or fold in with a spatula just until those are thoroughly incorporated. We don't want to um, kind of deflate this mixture. We've worked in some air to help this be fluffy and uh, we don't want to uh, knock all that back out. All right, so here we go. We have our batter. We have our streusel and we have a nine by five inch loaf pan. Uh, I've lined it and greased it as well. So we will start by putting about half of our batter into that pan. Again, we don't need to be precise. We'll just kind of dollop that in. A few blobs of batter should do. and smooth that out just um, so that it covers the bottom of the pan. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then we'll take that streusel mixture, mixture and just sort of sprinkle it over the top so that it gets out to the edges and makes a relatively even layer. Just spread that out like so. All right. And then in goes the rest of our batter. We'll kind of drop this on gently so that when we smooth it out, we don't wind up pushing that streusel over to one side or the other. There we go. We'll smooth this out, and then we're going to put this in a 325 degree oven for 55 to 60 minutes. You could start checking as early as 50 minutes, but that'll probably be a bit early. Um, and we will take it out of the oven when a toothpick tester comes out clean of batter. The streusel though will still uh, be a little moist. So if you get bits of streusel on there, that's fine. You just don't want um, bits of uncooked batter on or unbaked batter on your tester. All right, so here we go. We'll see it when it comes out of the oven. After an hour of baking, our pecan cake is out of the oven and it smells fantastic. As soon as it's cool enough, I'm going to slice into it and take a taste. We hope you give this a try, you check out other recipes on the channel, and hey, while you're at it, like and subscribe. And be sure to check back every Friday at 4 o'clock for a new recipe.